Hi, today I'm going to show you the Corgi AG Super 52L, which is a heavy duty tar machine. Very simple to use. We'll go together through all the function and all the controls. First of all, we have a bead breaker unit here. As you can see, it's controlled manually to lock it down. So basically, you can just lock it down this way and release it by pushing this pedal, pulling it up. It also has another handle, which is the one to spin the head, because sometimes we will need the finger here, sometimes we will need the disc to break the bead. So, with this, as you can see, you can easily rotate the head. Then when I need, I just lock it down. Over there we have the spindle, which is the one which we will grab the wheel with it. Here's the power unit, and here we have the control box. So from here we will do all the movements. We have also some accessories coming with the machine. As you can see, there are extensions like these that will be used on big diameters. So in case we have agricultural tires where the spindle is not enough to clamp the rim, we can also use these extension and give us much bigger range to take the rim, to clamp the rim with it. We have of course a tire bar, we're gonna need it, especially when we demount the front bead. We have a bead clip, which is the one that we will use to mount the tire, so to put it back on the rim. And we have a bead pushing device, so this one will help us to keep the bead into the drop center while we mount the top one. So first of all we can turn on the machine by this switch and on the side here you have another switch as you can see with 0, 1 and 2. 1 and 2 are the speed for the spindle. I would always leave it on 2. This way it will spin faster. About the controls on this machine as you can see we have a joystick in the center. This joystick controls the spindle and the main carriage. So as you can see we can go back and forward with this and up and down. Another control is the bead breaker. As you can see there's a sticker too. So just left or right this is the one that moves the bead breaker. Other control here is the control for the jaws. So from here we can open or close the jaws. If you see the spindle, now can open them, close. Last two controls are these pedals. As you can see, we have this one that spins it anti-clockwise, and the black arrow that spins it clockwise. Basically, the trick to remember is to use the red arrow to demount the tire. So when we'll take the tire off, we're gonna use the red arrow. When we will mount the tire back on, we will use the black arrow. So spin it this way. Now, first thing we gotta do, we gotta get our wheel on this platform. Make sure we have enough space to put the wheel on it. Always check on which side is your drop center. In this case, it's in the rear of the rim. So if the valve is on this side, the drop center can be on either side. In this case, it's here. What I do, I just put the wheel on the ramp. Now I will need to bring down the carriage and bring it forward and go most as possible in the center of the machine. Okay, when you're here, as you can see we have different steps where we can grab the wheel. So if you have a very little center hole, you can use the little one here at the beginning. Most of the time you will use the one in the middle, which is this one. And the last one here is used for bigger ones, like agricultural tires. So when I'm on this position, I can just 
open the jaws with this switch, start opening them and make sure it's nice and tight. Then we can just raise our wheel. First step will be to break the bottom bead. So what I do, I just bring the bead breaker on the back of it. Lock it down there. We're gonna stay very close to the rim. The closer we stay, the easier it is to break the bead. Remember, very important, when you break the bead, don't use the control for the bead breaker, use the control for the carriage. You will have much more power breaking the bead by using this cylinder instead of this one. So as you can see the bead breaker sits there and I move the whole carriage. When I'm here I can start rotating with the red arrow. This would be the right time to put some loop. Especially if you're gonna keep this tire. As you can see, we can put the loop right there, on the rim and on the bead of it. Okay. Once you have done that, we're gonna do the front. What I do, I get far from it. Take this up. Spin the head. Take it all the way out. And I can also go in with the carriage at the same time right there and now we are going to break the front bead again lube is your friend so make sure you have a good amount of lube all the way around okay once we have done that we can start taking the front bead out what I do, I will need to spin this because this finger is the one that we are going to use to take it off. Even in this case, I will stay close enough to the rim but not touching it. And as you can see, I keep pushing until it pops in. Then I start coming out. I can raise it a little if needed. When I get to this position, it's now time with the tire bar to get the bead. So what I do, I just basically put my tire bar right there. Again, red arrow on the control. We can come out a bit more. And as you can see, the first bead is demounted very easily. To do the bottom bead or the one on the back, we can just use the disc. So from here what I'm going to do, again, take this up, take it all the way on the back. Down with it, and again, the closest you stay to the rim, the easier it is. Start spinning to make sure it falls the drop center. And as you can see, you basically have to go to the edge of the rim. So from the other side, you can see the disc. When you are in this position, you can just spin again with the red arrow pedal. And you can take off only half of it. So this way the wheel won't fall on you or on some customer. Once we have done that, I can just take the bead breaker off my way and go down with the old carriage. As you can see now, by just pushing down, the tire is off. Very, very easily. There is no fighting with it, no effort. The machine works for us. Okay, then when we have to mount the tire back on, what I will do, I will bring the rim just a little bit inside the tire on the bottom, as you can see. 
then we are going to use the bead clip just to hold it in the right position. So basically I put it at 6 o'clock, which is the easiest place to get. Start rotating with the black arrow this time. The bead clip will grab the tire and pull it up. Once I've done this, I'm gonna use the finger to help us mounting it. So again, very close to the rim, we start going out. And as you can see, I just dropped it with the finger there. So when I'm in this position, I have the bead clip over there, our finger, I'm gonna hit the black arrow you will see you will keep it in the right spot and place it into the drop center so I just keep spinning and the bottom bead is now done so I can just take the bead clip off now and you might need some help just to take this off your way so this way and lower it a bit and go back with the finger is now off your way. For the bottom bead I'm now going to take this up off my way and I'm going to use the disc only. Rotate the disc this way, going to use the finger all the way out. Down again. Bit clip, six o'clock. Now I just usually bring it to this position, so I would say 9 o'clock. And now I'm going to use the finger to mount this time. So when I'm basically in this position, again, black arrow, start spinning. If I need to, I can stay more in to make sure this part will sit into the drop center. So keep spinning. And when you are in this position, when you are sure this part of the bead is into the drop center but you see the lip of the bead here rolling a little bit like that what you do you just come out so you don't put too much stress in that position out a bit more and just keep going and as you can see your tire is now mounted so what I do now I just come out with it take this off my way Take the bead clip off. Let's go again on the black ramp and down with it. And now you can just release the jaws. Take it back so we have the space for the wheel to and take it off the machine. That's it, Kev.